What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're going to be jumping into something. Something unexplained. The unexplained videos of a man who claims he's in 2027. Now I know that everybody out there believes in some sort of time travel. But what I, what I do know that I believe is that we live in an infinite universe currently. We've not hit a wall. Like an infinite galaxy. And that infinite means that anything is technically possible. If we hit a wall and we reach some sort of a limit, cool. Then we'll know, okay, that's not possible anymore. But until that point, everything goes on and on. Anything could potentially happen. We could be potentially having this same conversation in a whole bunch of different dimensions. It could be. I don't know. Is time travel real? I don't know. But if something's unexplained, that's the kind of stuff that catches my attention. That's the kind of stuff that gets me to go, hold on a second. How the hell does this work? But apparently it does with a lot of other people too. Because you requested it, so we're here with it. Let's jump into it. Let's check it out together. The unexplained videos of a man who claims he's in 2027. At some point in your life, you've probably asked yourself things like, is time travel possible? Or... Are we living inside some sort of simulation? Reality? Yes. Yes, I have thought about the simulated reality. Why? Because we learn about the end of the world and the apocalypse and all of this stuff way back when we're young and we learn about it through our whole lives. It's really not that far off at the rate that we're going like we probably shouldn't be able to see the end of times in our times when we're learning about how the end of times is going to be that's the way i look at the whole simulation thing that kind of bothers me plus there's some other things out there what are they these little things where everybody on the collective whole remembers something but it was never meant to be it never happened it never existed that kind of stuff those things weird me out What the hell? What the hell is it sitting on? <laughs> At first. Where'd she go? She wasn't even there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> At first, questions like these sound kind of strange. However, I don't if like you take that. into consideration the fast pace at which humans are evolving technologically, it doesn't sound that impossible. So the theory follows that may maybe we're in the simulation. The odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. Time travel has been the subject of so many movies. Is it really truly a possibility? Not only is it a possibility, but we've actually already taken the baby steps and we can actually move things into the future. Take a look at this video posted by Andres Pastrana Arango YouTube channel. It was recorded in 1999 and you can actually see what's supposed to be a person holding an iPad. Now iPads did not exist in 1999. They were first developed by Apple in 2010. This and many other videos out there makes us question if time travel exists or if we're living in some sort of simulation. Right? And his face is moving, but the, look at that, his face is- I don't like that at all. My hair stood up. If you move and your reflection doesn't move in the mirror, we got problems. Move, but the guy in the, the mirror is seen the same. Yo! <laughs> no! And recently, internet users are baffled by the mysterious and unexplained case of Javier, el único sobreviviente, a guy who says he woke up in the year 2027 all alone, no one around him due to some sort of event that happened. <laughs> Now he has been posting these kind of videos for about a few months now and to this day no one has a good explanation to what really is going on. Is this guy a time traveler? Is he proof that we are living in some sort of simulation? Or is it just fake? The thing is, subscribers of his have been asking him to do loads of things and go to different places and he has done it all. Okay Google. ¿Qué fecha es hoy? 
Es domingo, 3 de octubre de 2027. So what is really going on here? Right now we're going to be taking a look at his stories and videos and you're probably going to be mind blown. Are you ready? Let's I don't go. know if I'm ready at this point. Now, I don't know if I'm ready. That's kind of creepy. Javier's first videos all happen in Valencia, Spain, and they show him walking in various different places. At the beach, on a shopping mall, at the street, and the list goes on. His subscribers were baffled. How come there was absolutely no one around him, and how is this possible? Is he faking it? Or not? Now, the first video that Javier posted that baffled absolutely everyone was of him going into a hospital, the one he says he woke up to, absolutely no one around him. This is the video. Javier says he remembers waking up at the hospital with a document next to him, a bracelet, and that's about it. The supposed document from General Hospital Valencia dates February 10th, 2021. It says his name is Javier and he got there unconscious. Still, people did not believe him and told him to go to an airport, because an airport is never empty, so he did. I don't like that at all. Not a, not a, even a little bit. This is impossible. Is beyond like, hey, seriously, go show that is impossible. Some love on their channel. This is impossible. Who the hell? What's going on? Places were deserted during this whole thing, but they weren't this deserted. Notice how on this video he maintains the original background sound, in other words, there is no one there. You can't hear anyone walking, talking, or anything like that. How the heck is he doing this? Javier then continues to visit different popular places, places that should be filled with people. He goes to a supermarket and there is no one there. He goes to a police station, and there is no one there. He goes to a church, he goes to a pharmacy or a drugstore and there is absolutely no one there. This is when he starts visiting larger and historical places too and it's completely empty. So this is when people start to get creeped out. Yeah, have to we've been creeped out for the last five minutes. Say myself also, I have no idea how he's pulling this off. His comment section was bursting with questions. Questions like, how does he have the key and access to all these different places? Why doesn't he visit other cities? And how is he able to post videos on TikTok in 2021 if he is in 2027? Well, some of these questions he was able to answer. In one video, he traveled to Madrid and it was empty. And in another video, he traveled to Barcelona. In another video, he went to a museum in Lorca and it was empty. One of his most intriguing videos is when he travels to a distant city and he finds bunkers and tunnels. People were having difficulties explaining exactly where he was.
Yo, man, just because there ain't no humans doesn't mean that there can't be some kind of monster. At one point in this video, people actually start questioning if Javier is indeed in the year of 2027, because they don't recognize this structure in Valencia or any other city in Spain. This is where things really take a turn. At some point, he goes to an underground bunker and he finds a document. Well, he didn't pull this underground bunker out of his ass. I find it a little awkward that it's just kind of hanging out on the stairs, yes. Y he averiguado que conmigo debieron de utilizar una especie de colisionador de partículas. The document reads Experiment JESP8827. Javier, you probably don't remember who you are and you probably won't. However, know that we haven't lost connection with you and you will probably understand why in the future. Then the document goes on to explain that he was a time machine experiment from 2027 to 2021, but the experiment failed. He reached 2021, but for some reason time and space did not function as they should and he was locked in a reality where there are no animals and people around him. It even showed equations and graphics of how time travel supposedly works. There is some mathematician out there right now going bonkers for whatever this is on that paper. By now, he had drawn the attention of mostly every internet community and everyone was talking about this. And for obvious reasons, most YouTube channels, influencers and internet personalities were trying to debunk these videos. Uh, Here eh. are some of the findings. I guess the first question that people started asking themselves was, did he record all this? during quarantine. Well, it would be impossible to go into a hospital, a police station, a hotel, with it being completely empty. And he did all those. So the next question is, is he editing the people out using Photoshop or something like that? That would take a epic amount of work. Especially for some of those damn touristy places that he could go that you would know there would be somebody. I mean... Chat. Well, a YouTuber went to the trouble of trying to do so. And here is the result. Yeah, getting decent results from this feature is to create a quality mask around the object that you want to remove. You'll then need to track that object by keyframing the mask throughout the whole clip. Now this is somewhat tedious, uh, but you don't want to skimp on this step or you'll get poor. In this video, this YouTuber explains how to remove a person from his recordings. He did a great job. The thing is, he took hours and hours just to remove one person yeah. at a very slow and smooth video that he did with a drone. Nevertheless, he did a great job and it would explain how Javier is doing this. However, in many of Javier's videos, he's doing fast moving recordings. In one specific video, he uses a car to leave Valencia and in this video, he drives through miles. There is not a single person in sight. Imagine how many hours, maybe days or even months it would take for him to remove animals, people, everything from this video. I guess the idea of using Photoshop is really good, but I'm not too sure if this is how Javier is pulling this off. There was also YouTube Archivo K. They went and said that they found out a mistake in one of Javier's videos. Leandro from Archivo K says that he found a person that was hiding in one of Javier's videos. Pessoal, esse é o vídeo que eu falei no começo, que é o vídeo exclusivo aí que eu achei o cara, uma pessoa que não conseguiu se esconder. He goes on to explain that there's one specific video of Javier's in which there is a person hiding in the background and you were able to see this supposedly through the mirror. I'm gonna play this video and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what Leandro is trying to say. Now pay attention to these two specific pillars. Javier is going to enter the fire department garage and he's going to make a left and he's going to open a glass door.
the glass door is actually reflecting the two pillars behind them. And moments before he opens this door, we can supposedly see a person hiding behind one of these pillars. There's also been a lot of mannequins in places, though. He's pretty sure he found some good evidence. And he says that you can see the person hiding behind one of the pillars, not once, but twice. If you pay attention right now, you can actually see what appears to be a person hiding behind one of the pillars reflecting in the door's mirror. Now I'm not too sure if Leandro is correct if this is indeed a person or if it's something else. It's very difficult to say by analyzing just one video and one moment in a reflection. However, if this is indeed a person, this is a good find. There is another YouTuber who made an interesting find. In 2019, Luis Miguel Vega was the only survivor of an accident on Javier Prado Avenue in Valencia. And in this accident, Luis lost two of his friends. Some people think that Javier is a form of Luis to overcome the fact that he lost his two friends and that he was the only survivor that day. Needless to say, internet users were all over this story and they were trying to understand could it be real? Is this really Javier? However, many people left comments saying that Javier's hands do not look at all like Luis Vegas. And that is accurate, but that leaves us with another problem. Many internet users suggested that his hands are not the same throughout his videos. And if you actually take a look, it seems like these internet users are correct. But I'm not too sure. I'll leave that up to you. You've got a slight point there. The hands are most certainly a little bit different. The problem is, to this day, no one has been able to fully debunk his videos. Some people even asked him, go to a high place so we can see planes, helicopters, an entire city. And he actually visited more than one of these places. There is absolutely nothing, no helicopters, no planes, no cars moving, nothing. So what is really going on here? In your opinion, is Javier really a time traveler from the future? Is he locked in a different or parallel universe? Parallel universes, I'm saying they very well, very well could exist, infinite universe. Or maybe is he proof that we live in some sort of simulation? Or is it just a hoax? The thing is, to this day, no one has been able to fully debunk any of his videos. Not only that, no one knows how the heck is he pulling this off if it is fake. So what is really going on here? What is your take? I'm James Lefer, and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe with notifications for more, and I'll see you guys again. Hey, I'm saying anything's possible. Anything is possible. That's most certainly some uh, thought-provoking video content, though. Airports everywhere, just void and abandoned the people like what the hell you should not be able to be walking through all the back rooms at the hospital things like that i don't know what's going on you think that if he was paying people to have him just move out of the scene for a few minutes it probably would have got caught by now probably wouldn't be able to keep that up i don't know i don't know i damn sure don't know how to explain it uh, if you guys enjoyed the content, go show That's Impossible some love on their channel. We're subbed up. You sub up as well. Hit the like button if you liked it, the dislike button if you disliked it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Check out the other video up there or one of these guys up here. Until the next one, how like a buzz You guys be happy, healthy, safe. Love you to the moon and back. Peace.